Uh, while I was at work today, my wife Karen, she shucked a whole bunch of corn on the cob. And then this is how we put it in the freezer, okay? This, this is working for us 100% every time. No fail. She shucks the corn, she gets a big 24 quart pot and she fills it with water. She brings it to a boil. She drops the corn in for a couple of minutes. She just starts to boil it. Then she immediately takes it out, drops it in some ice water. Then she puts them on a tray and she puts them in a refrigerator. Then I come home from work and the already blanched corn. And by blanching it, Not cooking it all the way she's just blanching it just for a couple of minutes and then it goes into the ice water to stop the process then we put it in the refrigerator to just reduce the temperature and chill it down and now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna vacuum seal it probably four or five cobs in each bag when we're done with this and we vacuum seal it this corn will last us for well over a year you could check and see what works for you I'm just letting you know for us we have some, some people in our family, like our granddaughter, she loves corn on the cob. So a lot of times if we're eating a vegetable she will not eat, my wife will just pull out some corn on the cob. Or when the kids are over and, and our daughter's over and we're having a big meal, she could pick out two bags. But the point is, this works for us. It's, it's wonderful and this corn will be as good the day that we take it out and cook it, it'll be as good as the day we put it in. Just because we vacuum sealed it to protect it and she blanched it. So just follow me, you ready? Now I'm gonna take a minute and I'm gonna explain what I did. It's a little inconvenient to be this meticulous, but when I put the cobs in, I leave a space in between every corn on the cob. By leaving a space, when it vacuum seals, it pulls that plastic down around the entire cob. So every single kernel of corn on the cob is protected. See, the problem is ox oxygen gets to these things, oxygen gets to your meat, oxygen gets to your things that you put in the freezer, and it breaks them down. What we have here is we have corn that I kept it apart a little bit when we vacuum sealed it. So this might be uh, common sense to everybody else, but when I figured this out, this is what was working for us. It's not just the blanching and it's not just the vacuum sealing. It's leaving a space between each cob. So when it sucks the air out, that plastic can get down around every single cob. That's the trick. And that trick will keep this corn fresh for you for a long time. <laughs> oh yeah. That's the trick. <laughs> it just works. It works wonderful.